Hey guys, it's Celine here and today I am back with another video. I'm going to be doing a clothing haul for back to school because you guys seem to really like my clothing hauls and you guys give really good feedback. So I decided to do another one because I did get some more things since my last haul which was not too long ago but you know what, it's okay, back to school is starting and I know I'm not going to be going shopping that often during the school year. So without any further ado, let's just get into the video. Actually, before we actually get into the clothes, I did get a haircut if you did not notice. I got it yesterday, I cut it completely a lot shorter. Um, I asked them to just completely chop off a lot of the side of here, but I do have a little bit of um, a lot more hair on this side than this side, so that I don't have to pull anything back, like there's nothing to really pull back here, but here I have like a little bit of hair, so if you're wondering about that, I did get another trim. So I went to Forever 21 and I got this turtleneck gray um, long sleeve cropped, but not too cropped um, shirt. I could still wear it with jeans and my belly button wouldn't show or anything, and this looks something really similar to like the appar American Apparel. Um, basic shirts that are overpriced. So I got this for like five dollars. I think I didn't even wear it yet um, Yeah, five dollars and eighty cents in a size small. So I got that and I also got a striped cardigan um, Well, I mean not a cardigan, but I mean it's a hoodie, but they look really similar to the ones from Brandy Melville So I really really liked it and so this is what it looks like. It's just striped. It has a hoodie like I said, and it has like little drawstrings here that are navy blue. So it's like a grayish off-white navy blue striped sweater and has like little pockets there and this was $15.80 in a size small so again not too bad for a hoodie and if I look a little bit orange in this video I'm trying new lighting out like I'm trying different situations and I also went to the beach today so I did get a little bit more tan today and just the lighting in general I'm trying to fix so I'm sorry if I look orange I don't know how it's gonna look in the actual video the next store is one of my favorite stores of all time and it's Urban Outfitters because I am a typical white girl and I love Urban Outfitters so I got this one dress from the sale section I thought it was $19 but it turns out it was like $10 which is awesome so it's this really pretty gray dress and it looks like this it's kind of low cut a little bit in the front and then it just kind of goes down to the bottom and it kind of goes in in a way I can't really describe it but it does go in so it is more for like the summertime end of summer fall um, dress and the back was really low cut so um, I asked my mom if she could sew it for me and she did so yeah for ten dollars not too bad I got this one and it's really pretty and it has a very thin material so if you could see that it's kind of see-through but it has an awesome bright color and I'm planning on wearing it during the fall a lot because the flannels I have are more darker colors and I wanted something a little bit more brighter and just, I don't know. I really like it and I think this was $19.99 and is by the brand BDG and it is in a size small. So next store is Free People. If you guys didn't know, I am obsessed with Free People with all my heart. It is one of my favorite stores ever, probably even more than Urban Outfitters, but they come really, really close. So those are my two favorite stores of all time. So I got this tank top on sale for, I think, $10, something like that. So I have this actually. I bought this like a few years ago or maybe like two years ago in like a navy blue floral print and I always wear it. So I had a different color and it's like this pink flower lilac tank. And so I got this shirt and it says electrical storm motels and it's just this casual lounging tee and these sleeves are kind of rolled up but they're like stitched so they're not going to fall apart and I love it. I was thinking I could tie it like at uh, the waist something like this and wear like black jeans with it or um, just light wash jeans and wear like an oversized necklace that I have from Free People or just Urban Outfitters. Um, so I'm very excited about this shirt. And the other color that I got it in is in this bright yellow color and I actually saw this on a mannequin a couple months ago or like maybe a month or two ago really and again like it, they had the um, tied waistband and it had an oversized necklace which I already have so rarely I have um, clothing on the mannequins like at home from Free People so it was really exciting and it went on sale and it says high tide but again very similar style a little bit of a burnout material rolled sleeves um, again stitched so it goes in and it's not going to fall out. I was thinking about wearing this with black jeans especially. I'm so obsessed. It's such a pretty shirt and casual and I really like it. I don't really own anything yellow or anything like this so I was really excited when I got it. Next I got a Lucky Brand shirt and it just looks like this. I think this is in a size small. Yeah and it was made in India apparently. So it has this cute little um, diamond block um, design on the front and then the back is just a simple basic burnout material kind of but it's not sheer so you can't really see through the shirt it's pretty dark 
just went to Victoria's Secrets and I got some panties, but I'm not going to show that because I don't really show them. Um, and I, but I got a hoodie there and I'm so obsessed with this. I got one for me and one for my friend um, Fiona, whose birthday is on Sunday, August 31st. So shout out to Fiona if you're watching this. I love you. So I got her, um, this hoodie for her in a different color and like a different design. So this is what it looks like, if I can actually show you guys the hoodie. Um, it looks like this, and I wanted a new hoodie, and the inside is so soft. If you guys know the brand Wild Fox, and if you've ever felt their sweaters, this is what it feels like on the inside. So it looks like this. It, this is what it like looks like, if you guys can see that. It's so incredibly soft, and this is in a size small, and the back has a little heart. Well, not that little, but pretty big, and it has some sequins on the bottom half of the heart. So I like it, and it has like a little wing on the pocket, so... I don't know, cute little detail. Next I went to a local boutique and they were selling this um, halter top and it looks just like the one at Urban Outfitters and this was $20 so I got this in a size large because it is small and it stretches out so I'd say if you're gonna get one of these tops go up a few sizes if you really don't want it to be squeezing your insides out so I got that as a crop top. I know it's not really fall but I mean I could probably wear it with jeans and flannel or something. Then I went to Hollister because they were having a sale on jeans and I got $25 jeans and this is, I don't know the exact um, type of jeans, but they are ripped and I wore this in my lookbook, my fall staples lookbook, so go check that out. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to watch it because I wore it and I, a lot of you guys liked the video, so it looks like this. Now on to online items. There's a online store called Lovely Wholesale. Um, I think it was called like Rose wholesale but com but now it's lovelywholesale.com I'll leave a link of it down below the items that I got so you guys can go check them out so I got a pair of overalls but they're actual like overalls so they're long and they're jeans because I have um, overalls but they're like short overalls like they're shorts but these are actual long overalls so it looks like this and they have adjustable straps which is awesome because um, then again if you don't know the size you are you can always adjust it and then the bottom are just jeans like this. I'm so obsessed. I can't wait to wear it to school. That's a bracelet from there. And it kind of is like a stack of bracelets all in one. And I really do like this. And it has a little tie. So you could just tie it. And it'll just go on your wrist like that. And it has a little um, red bead jewelry there. So it is really, really pretty. And the last thing I want to show you guys is not actually a clothing item. But it is a um, makeup monthly subscription box. So it is by the brand... Um, lip factory. So basically what they are, they are a lip product service. So they don't send actual makeup, they send um, lip products. So basically when you open it, you get a little car that says like what's inside of the box itself. So they have um, LA Splash Mineral Blush, LA Splash Lip Lacquer, Medusa's Makeup Stick It Eye Primer, Colt Nails Liquor, Pink Powder Powder Lipstick, and Red Cherry False Eyelashes. And it tells you the price of each item on the side and it gives you a little picture so you guys can know which one it is. So when you open it, it looks like this. And um, well, I mean not exactly like that, it's more organized but I opened it. And here are the false eyelashes. And then here is the mineral blush which isn't that great. I mean it falls out really easily and it's really not that pigmented so I'm really not that impressed with the blush. Um, and then it came with this lipstick, so this is a hot pink color. Um, I really don't think it's that pigmented either. I don't think it's really that well made, I'm just being honest here. But the lip gloss itself is by LA Splash, and this looks really nice. It's a awesome, it smells good too. It smells like, kind of like sweet candy, so it's an awesome hot pink color. Eye primer, I've never heard of this brand Medusa, so hopefully they're cruelty free, hopefully they're eco-friendly, and um... Stuff like that because that's more of the makeup that I'm trying to get into. So And wow, that is it for my clothing haul. If you guys enjoyed it, I'm trying not to babble in my clothing hauls because I find that I do that often. So trying to cut it down by a little bit. Anyways, comment down below what your favorite clothing item from this video was. And so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye guys.